Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Bagherwal. Welcome to Salesforce. In this video, we are going to talk about reactive screen flow in Salesforce. First of all, this feature is beta service as of now. That means it is not generally available. First of all, to enable this uh, reactive feature, you need to go to setup and search for process automation settings. On this page, if you will scroll down, you can see an option called opt into reactive display text beta. You need to enable this feature in order to use the reactive screens or reactive texts in your screen flow. You need to enable it and just save it. Then now we are going to see an example of this reactive screens or reactive texts in our screen flow. So to do that, I am just going to flows and we are going to create a sample screen flow in which we are going to use this reactive feature. Okay. So I'm going to click new and I'm going to use the screen flow here. Click create. So first of all, let me just explain you the scenario which I am going to build here. Uh, I have an object as product in which product name is there and product price is there. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two sliders on any screen. One slider will be about the quantity that you are going to select for that product. And another one would be the discount percentage that you want to give on that product. Okay. So we are going to see for, let's say for uh, quantity, we are going to say the value ranging from zero to hundred and for discount, uh, similarly, we are going to give for zero to hundred in the percentage. Okay. And when we are going to do the actual price calculation, we are going to calculate, we are going to uh, multiply the number of quantities with the price of the product. And we are going to provide the discount on that price as well. So to do that, first of all, we are going to get all the products from the product object, which we have. So for that, I'm just going to click add element and I'm going to use the get records uh, element over here. So I'm just giving the name as get products object. I am going to select as product. Okay. No condition selecting none all records i'm going to fetch and automatically store all fields let me just to save this flow so let me just say product quantity discount calculation all right and let's save it Okay. Now second step would be once we have all the products in our flow, we need to create a screen. Okay. On that screen, we are going to showcase all these products in a tabular format and on selecting one row or one specific product, we are going to get that price. And in real time, we are going to use the sliders to select the uh, quantity for that product and the percentage of discount that we want to provide. And in the real time on the screen flow, this reactive feature is going to calculate the resultant amount based on the calculation with the quantity and the discount percentage. So I'm just going to select a screen over here. Let me just uh, give it a name. Product quantity discount calculation screen okay and now from the left side from the components list i am going to drag and drop a data table on the console and i'm giving it a name as products okay and the collection i'm going to use is the get products which we have defined earlier and i'm gonna configure the columns as well and here I am configuring the name column, click done and one more column, which is the price. Okay. Click done. All right. 
so now we have a table of products in which product name and product price is going to be displayed now we are going to provide two sliders on this screen one would be representing quantity and another one would be representing discount percentage okay so from the left side from the available component list i'm going to drag and drop slider and one more time okay so let's give the name to this first slider that would be quantity okay and here in the label i am going to show select quantity as the message and from 0 to 100 maximum and step size would be 1 that means you can uh, move this slider one by one like 0 1 2 3 4 and so on okay now let's go to our second slider so on this one i am giving the name as discount and the label as select discount and for this also i am giving the range as 0 to 100 now here i'm i do not want a step size as one so i'm giving this step size as 10 okay so that means you can uh, move this slider in the steps of 10 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 and 100 finally you can give because the maximum is 100 okay so now we have a data table we have the uh, slider for quantity we have the slider for discount now in the last we are going to showcase some of the results so for that i'm using a display text uh, uh, element from the left side and in this element first let me give the name as uh, let's say product summary okay so first of all uh, i am showing i'm gonna show on this uh, display is the product product name okay and uh, i'm gonna use this uh, product data table and uh, selected rows okay not selected rows let me just remove this one products data products data table and in that first selected row and the name of the product okay so i'm just going to look for the name okay now second thing i want to showcase here is the uh, quantity that you are selecting okay so directly i'm gonna use this uh, quantity slider and the value okay the next thing i want to showcase here is the discount okay and again i'm going to use this discount value and at last we want to see the resultant price so i'm just going to say uh, as the net price okay and for this we need a, a formula which is going to use the quantity and the discount and which will display the net price to us okay so first of all i'm just uh, clicking done for this one i will go to resources and i'm clicking new resource selecting the formula and giving the api name is uh, net price calculation okay and data type i'm selecting as currency with the two decimal places so let's start creating our formula okay so basically what we need to do here is we have the price of a product and uh, we are going to give the quantity so the quantity has to be multiplied with the product price and uh, that price would be subtracted from the actual price of that number of quantities and the resultant price would be multiplied by the discount percentage okay so le let me just uh, writing it down so it would be more clear so first of all we are gonna use the uh, products data table and we are gonna use first selected row and here we have uh, the field as price okay that we are going to select and multiply with the quantity okay so quantity value this is we have now the uh, resultant price for the number of quantities that we are going to select now i'm going to uh, subtract 
the uh, the discount from it okay or we want to uh, provide the discount on this calculated price and we want to get the resultant price okay so basically whatever discount price is going to come that has to be subtracted from this amount then we are going to get the resultant or net price okay so i am just going to copy this again over here and along with this i am going to give one more multiply operator here and i am going to use discount value divide by 100 okay and uh, let me just uh, put it inside bracket so it would be easier to understand now let's check the syntax it is valid so basically uh, what is going to happen here is let's say uh, we have 100 as the price of a product and we have selected two quantities so that means 200 for two quantities and we have given 10 percent discount that means 200 10 percent of 200 it would be 20 okay and 20 if we minus 20 from 200 that would be 180 as the net price for our product okay with the quantities that we have selected and the discount that we have given so i'm just going to click done here and now let's come back to our screen and in the net price all i have to do is select this net price calculation formula okay that's it i think everything is done so click done let's save it and now is the time to test it out so i'm just going to click debug here and uh, you need to click run over here okay so first of all we we can see the table of the products we have the product names and the prices so this is a custom field so only for a couple of products or one two products only i have given this price value let me just uh, look for it or le let's give the price to these two products first two products that we have so from the app uh, launcher i will go to products object and uh, i am going to select the all products list view i am going to search for this product go to this product click at it and uh, let me give the price as 40000 for this product okay save it let's select one more product this one let's go back to the products list view click all products and search for this product go to it click add it and for this one let's say 50,000 okay now let me just uh, refresh our debug screen click run again now you can see for these product two products we have the price as 40,000 and 50,000 respectively okay and below this you can see two sliders one is for quantity and one is for discount and currently we do not have any uh, any product and the net price of that product in here so to do that i need to select this product as soon as cli as soon as i check this checkbox i can see the name of the product is populated over here and now let's start giving the selected quantity so let's say one quantity i'm selecting and discount i am giving as 10 percent so now you can see that 10 percent of 40,000 is 4,000 and the net price is going to be 30,000 now let's increase the quantity to 2 okay so 2 means 8,000 discount okay uh, 8,000 8, discount with the price of 80,000 okay and 80,000 subtracted with 8,000 becomes 72,000 so that means our calculation is working properly and if you will see here that in order to perform this calculation you do not need to refresh the page you do not need to load the page or you do not even need to click any button over here 
it is happening in the real time so that is the power of reactive feature in the screen flows that means whatever you do on the screen it is going to update the text or the data based on the conditions or business scenarios or calculations that you are you are performing uh, in your flows that is going to be given at the same time when you are performing or when you are changing the uh, inputs on the screen flows okay so that is an example of the screen flow and that's all we are gonna see in this video if you want to uh, just try out more features you can do it uh, uh, with this reactive feature the main important thing to re uh, keep in mind here is it is this feature is beta service currently that means it is not generally available if you want to use you have to enable it and there might be some problems or there there might be some bugs around this feature because it is uh, currently in beta phase all right so that's all we are going to talk about in this video thanks for watching